I'm not a fan. <laughs> We're not a fan. I'm your only fan. And we're here for the Moore Park Raider post game show brought to you by the Moore Park Sports Report. Today, an incredible come from behind win for the Moore Park Raiders, 8 to 7 over the Oxnard Condors. Uh, gentlemen, what a crazy game we had. Lots of lead changes, lots of amazing plays. Uh, overall, just a wonderful day for baseball, wouldn't you say? It was just a fun day to watch Moore Park baseball. I mean, there was actually fans in the stands this time, to, so fans that were actually able to see the walk-off this time, uh, you know, a couple games ago, they had a walk-off um, one 3 two, but there was no fans in the stands. So it was great to see some fans get the energy pumping, but yeah, what a fun game. Yeah, you could definitely feel the excitement in the crowd and, uh, you know, the momentum shifts back and forth, back and forth, and ultimately more part pulled through. Awesome. So I'm here with uh, Danny Stepanovich and uh, Leonard Carnalino. Uh, my name is Mitchell Ross, and we're from the Moore Park Reporter. We like to cover Moore Park sports, so we're just ex excited to, for fans to be in the stands as we are to be there to report. But let's get to the reporting about this game. Uh, it started off much differently than the first part of the doubleheader, which was a one nothing shutout, a Moore Park loss. Uh, but this game had a lot of scoring. We're talking in the third inning. Uh, Oxnard scores three runs, only to be answered by four more from the Moore Park Raiders. Leonard, walk me through the situation in the third inning. So in the third inning, uh, Oxnard was up 3-0, and then uh, Moore Park comes back with a massive four-run inning. And uh, to follow that up, um, Lee had a stupendous uh, grab to rob a home run that would have put Oxnard back in the lead. Right, yeah. Dylan Leak, the left fielder, completely robs a home run, sticking his glove over the fence. So somebody call Oxnard Campus Police. Uh, one of the home run balls is stolen. Uh, Danny, you were actually able to talk to Dylan after the game. Uh, let's throw it to that real quick. All right, I'm here with Dylan Leak. Um, Dylan, take me back to the, about the fourth inning when you made the amazing home run robbery catch. Um, take me through how you read the ball, how you tracked it, and, and the jump. Well, right off the bat, I knew I was going to have to go back far and I knew it was going to be close um, to the fence and I knew that where the fence was kind of before the play because I, I knew how far it was when I when I started uh, so as I was going back I, I knew where the fence was so I was just trying to keep my eye on the ball and then as I was getting close to uh, catching it I well I tried to you know time it so that I wouldn't go too hard into the fence or like not jump high enough to get the ball so that's basically what I was like. Now this is the second walk-off win here at Moore Park College. A, a, a two home game walk-off wins. What does this tell? What does this say about the team in general? Uh, that we have spirit. You know, we don't give up. We try to stay in the game each at bat at a time. And whatever deficit we're behind by, if we're in that situation, we just try to go batter by batter until you know we hopefully take back the lead. Awesome interview, Danny. Great reporting right there. Uh, getting through some more of the game, after that Dylan Leak robbery, it kind of jump-started the rest of the game. It was a lot of back and forth, a lot of great scoring, uh, but Oxnard kind of took the lead late in the game. Leonard, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, Oxnard was up, I think, 5-7, to seven, or 7-5, seven to five, and then Moore Park was able to come back and get two straight in uh, the eighth and then in the ninth follow it up and get the game winner um, off a wild pitch to get 8-7 and get the walk off in the win. Right. So uh, they come back and score to tie it up at seven in the eighth inning off a single by uh, the catcher Robert Raymond who, who Danny he also had some incredible plays in the field. Robert Raymond I think he's the player of the game if we can give that out more Park Porter player of the game Robert Raymond I mean Let's go before this game. Let me start there. He, he, he only had three at-bats before the doubleheader today. He's backing up Trent Packard, a very good um, hitter. He leads the team in walks, so he's really good at the play. But, but today they said, you know what, Robert? Uh, you take catching duty today, and he stepped in. Like you mentioned, he got the hit. And then um, bottom, of the bottom of the ninth, sorry. Top nine. 
Top oh. nine. Top nine. Runner on first. No outs. You never know what can happen. He guns it to second base. Gets the out at second. Puts an out on the board. Um, and then he follows that up with just good, being a good teammate. He's talking to DJ, his pitcher on the mound. He's talking to his teammates in the dugout. He, was, he just had a great game today. Right. You mentioned pitcher DJ Virginia, who uh, prior to this game, you know, he's had his ups and downs in the early season. They haven't played that many games, and they haven't had such a long offseason to prepare. But uh, Coach Portal brings him in in the eighth inning to hold the lead or to hold Oxnard to where they were uh, to not give up any more runs. And he's able to go in and shut down a, a good offensive uh, showing from Oxnard for two solid innings. Uh, we talked to DJ Virginia after the game. All right, I'm here with DJ Virginia. He came in and shut the game down in the bottom innings of the second head of the doubleheader. Uh, DJ, talk about uh, some of the things going through your mind as you're coming into a tight game. Just throw strikes, you know, come in and do my best. And if I don't succeed, you know, I got more guys in the bullpen behind me that are uh, going to come pick me up. And, you know, my job was just to come in and get the job done. And it was a team effort all, all around today. You know, and I felt like we all succeeded. You know, even though we lost the first game, we'll come back and bounce back and get ready for Thursday. Definitely. You talk about the whole team being ready uh, and coach putting you in the right position. Talk a little bit about how the coaching staff has prepared this team to come back and start competing again. You know, it starts on Monday, you know, from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. You know, we, we come with that mindset that we're going to be ready no matter who we face. And even at practice, you know, no matter what situation we are, the coaches put in those situations to get us ready for these games. And coming into the game right now, it, just, it, felt, it felt just like practice, you know, nothing new. And just getting ready for the next game, that's all that matters. Yeah, you had a pretty wild game. A lot of lead changes, lots of comebacks. There was one wild catch by your teammate, uh, Dylan Leak, out in left field. Uh, you were in the bullpen, correct me if I'm wrong. What was it like to see it from there? Man, seeing it from that perspective, it was... Honestly, I think it's one of the catch of the year right now. I think I haven't, I haven't seen a better catch or, or I mean, have, it, have seen an opposing team make a play like that. And just having, like, just being so close to it, it was just crazy. I wish I have a, a camera right there to videotape it so I can watch it again. Yeah, luckily we caught it on camera for the Moore Park Reporter. So, DJ, thank you again for the interview, and uh, good luck in your next game. Thank you very much. All right, so that was our interview with uh, pitcher DJ Virginie. And, look, his effort would have gone, you know, for nothing if it was not for the bottom of the ninth inning. Leonard, I want you to walk us through just a crazy ending for Moore Park College today. Yeah, the bases were loaded in the ninth, and... Uh, midway you had the uh, audio the music playing under pressure and the pitcher definitely felt the pressure as it led to a wild pitch and Moore Park uh, ended up getting the win off a walk-off stolen uh, from third to home right yeah wild pitch allows uh, shortstop Shane Grieger to score from third base securing the Raiders second walk-off win at home this year uh, Danny we were able to talk to coach Porto after the game uh, what was that like? You know, Porto, he, he couldn't be more proud of his team. Um, it was a tough game. They gave up some box during the game. Um, Shane had his first error of the season. You know, Porto talked so highly about how they can count on Shane to really hold down shortstop. He had his first error, but none other than Shane scored the winning round. Um, they're probably their top hitter on the team. Um, you, they can always count on him to make some contact. So I'm not surprised Shane scored the, the winning run. Right, of course, an excellent heads-up baseball play. And that's the brand of baseball that Coach Porto likes to preach here at Moore Park College. Overall, how would you say that the Raiders performed today, and what can we look forward to in their next appearance? I think this game just showed how, how much heart they have. Listen, they go down 3-0, yeah. and they immediately answer with four runs. You know, when you go down 3-0, you know, you can definitely be like, man... I'm, we're down 3-0 already. This is in the third inning. Third inning, you. our starter, one of our top starters, Noah, who uh, who gave up like no runs his last uh, game. He comes in, he gets rocked in the third, and then they respond with four runs. And then Dylan makes his makes the amazing catch out in the left field. And then what happens? Oxnard uh, responds with a couple runs from their own. So Moore Park, they didn't give up this game. I loved what I saw, and you know they can go all the way for sure. Definitely a great showing, Leonard. If you could describe in a couple words just the mentality you saw from the team out there and the overall outcome, uh, how would you describe it? To build off of Danny, I would definitely say they showed a lot of heart tonight and uh, very resilient. 
and I think that they're just going to build off of this. They're going to have a lot of momentum off of this one game, and I think you'll see it in the upcoming games. Definitely in their upcoming games. Next Thursday, they play Ventura College, another member of the VCCD. Uh, look, this team, they have a lot to prove. They got their season cut short last year, and they were about to go on a roll. I know that uh, after talking to the team, to the players, to the coaches, uh, they're confident in the players' ability to overcome adversity and really shine through and understand that uh, this is a game. It's something that it's a privilege to play, and a lot of other schools aren't able to play. But luckily, our Moore Park Raiders are able to play again. They'll be playing next week against Ventura. They split the first two meetings earlier this year, one and one in the doubleheader a couple weeks ago. So if we can give some predictions for the next game, how do you think Moore Park College is going to do? You know, they used up some, uh, a lot of their arms today and uh, in both the games. So um, I'm expecting a lot of high scoring um, runs. And uh, I think, uh, I think Moore, Park, Moore Park can come out on top uh, with the little Ventura sweep this Thursday. Ooh, little sweep action. Leonard, what do you got? I could definitely see that. I think it won't be blowouts, but I definitely could see them uh, taking all of the games against Ventura. Right. No matter what the outcome is, we know that the Moore Park Raiders are going to play with heart. So again, uh, this is the Moore Park Raiders postgame show brought to you by the Moore Park Sports Report. Keep it tuned here on all of our social channels, and we'll be back here after the next game. Thank you. Thank you.